Awesome. Okay. Hello and welcome. <laughs> uh, so I'm Mandy and I am um, an elementary teacher, but I'm actually on hiatus right now a little bit. I'm married for six years now with my husband, Evan, and a mother of a four-year-old, Emerson. And I'm Zooming from a beautiful Airbnb in Canmore, Alberta, actually right now. And the way that we can do that is because two years ago, um, we actually sold our house and almost everything that we own uh, so that we could reprioritize and spend spend time as a family and spend time traveling. Uh, so we do have a three season trailer back in our hometown where we live in the summer. Uh, during the winter, we travel and we stay in amazing rentals like this, um, wherever we can in the world. And typically Airbnbs, um, but any rental space is great. Um, so we always bring our own cleaner and we never know what we're going to arrive to is the problem, right? And basically Emerson is the reason for that. So I'm the gatekeeper of my own home, whether that is my home in my trailer, my home in a beautiful secluded area or my home around the world that we're choosing while we're traveling. Um, so with traditional cleaners, this wasn't making sense to me to be advised to open all the windows, have a well-ventilated area, um, open, the, uh, open things up so that I can clean things um, so that I'm not exposing myself to the chemicals. Um, also going ahead and cooking pots and pans or cleaning pots and pans and then cooking on them, um, washing our dishes and then eating off of them, washing our floors and then walking on them with our bare feet and my son's bare feet. Our feet have the largest amount of pores on our entire body. So that is all leaching into our bloodstream. I'm not sure, um, I'm actually sure none of you have ever seen a child's reaction to glass or windows. I'm looking at my patio door right now and it is smudged and covered with all of his little fingerprints and actually embarrassingly his tongue prints. Mm -hmm. um, so imagine what is going on and the chemicals that could be in his body. Um, also all day we're wearing something from the laundry. So the clothes that we wear, the towels that we dry ourselves off in, the sheets that we're sleeping in. Um, typically what's used is high fragrance detergents with many chemicals, and these are causing allergic reactions. We we're having headaches, we were having rashes, coughs, we were unsure why, um, asthma reactions, things like that. And in fact, it was because of the cleaners that we thought were safe and that we were supposed to use. Um, so we no longer wanted to expose ourselves to these kind of things. I didn't want to expose myself to them, but then especially with Emerson, I don't want my family to have to. I do want to tell you the average household contains, I mean, hundreds of chemicals, but top 62 toxic, toxic chemicals. Um, and we're exposed to them routinely and one on top of the other. And ingredients in these common household products have been linked to asthma, cancers, reproductive disorders, hormone disruptions, uh, neurotoxicities, terrible things. Um, some of these products cause immediate reactions like the ones that I described that we were having. And then different problems arise with repeated contact, which is the toxic burden. And I do wanna just say a little bit about that that some people say, um, mostly the industry will say that in small amounts, these toxic ingredients that are in all of our chemical products um, aren't likely to be a problem. Mm -hmm. But when we're exposed to them routinely and in combinations that really can't be studied, it's impossible to gauge the risks. And so this is bioaccumulation. This is our body's toxic burden. It's the number of chemicals that we are just um, having stored in our tissues at any given time because we just cannot keep up with um, cleansing it out. Um, so basically with rental properties, um, everybody is using chemicals, right? They're using the bleach, they're using the Windex, they're using all the things to clean things up, especially in this day and age. And here's an opportunity to offer something different. More and more people are noticing these chemical sensitivities like we're noticing, um, these allergies, these reactions to fragrance. They're asking for non-toxic environments. Many of them don't even feel comfortable pushing that onto an Airbnb um, when they go to provide as a guest. But what do they do afterwards? They go tell their friends the mm -hmm. negative experience they have instead. Um, but the ones that do have the courage to ask you before they come, um, that's where I'm appealing, you, um, appealing to you from, that perspective, as personally, that's my position. Um, a person who is more focused on wellness, more and more travelers out there today are focused on wellness, and that's my position. And maybe you're gonna begin to hear from more of your customers that are asking for this. Um, 
Another approach is maybe you're wanting a safer option. So maybe you have a desire for natural, holistic um, cleaning. Maybe you wanna protect the person who's doing the cleaning in your rental properties. Is it you? Is it a family member? So we're gonna think about those things. So we no longer use window cleaners, floor cleaners, kitchen and bathroom sprays. We no longer use dish and hand soaps um, from the grocery stores. We no longer use laundry detergents and dryer sheets and all the things. We use Thieves. It's an all natural, plant-based, effective cleaner. And it has immune boosting power as well, which is wonderful. So you know what? Walking bare feet on these floors, that's great. And um, using thieves in essential oil and these diffusers. It smells great and it's cleansing the air and it's also boosting our immunity, the entire family at once and anyone who comes into the home. So it's a wonderful choice. And I actually have Azure here with me today. Um, Azure is a partner of mine. She has expertise working with um, homeowners and small business owners for nine years this March. Um, she works with over 9,000 members who incorporate the products into their personal lives and into their professional lives. Um, but I'm asking Azure to speak because she's an Airbnb owner. So she incorporates thieves into her Airbnb in amazing ways and she keeps her guests clean and safe and she also can uniquely advertise her space as this amazing oasis using these products. So thanks for being here, Azure. Mandy, that was fantastic. I'm, whatever you're selling, I'm sold because I, I, you reminded me exactly what I went through as a traveler, I went through as a mother, um, I thought I was different. I thought I was strange. Um, you, the ed everything you just said right there summarizes our plight perfectly. We feel alone. We feel weird asking for, do you mind if you don't, could you not spray Lysol on those pillows, on the blankets? Do you mind washing the sheets? Can you do so without uh, fragrances? Because we are sensitive. Uh, that was a battle I felt I was doing alone a long time ago. But now I look to my left, I look to my right, everyone's asking for and requesting the same thing. Don't you find that, Mandy? It's, we're not alone. Um, I'll even make jokes. Uh, I get into Ubers and they just sprayed it with something disgusting, right? I know Shelly's there like going, oh, I know. We get into these, these, and they think they're making it pleasant for us. And I understand more than anything what's going on. They're desensitized and hoping desensitization works in this case. I... I could only do this business of Airbnb because of my relationship with the company that provides these products. Um, so because Young Living and their products um, allowed me to have a home-based business that I could retire myself, my family, my husband and I were able to purchase a property far beyond our means um, on a dreamy lake uh, front, front uh, setting that allowed us to build our branding, our business. And my business name is called Essential Beginnings. And what we do is just essential oil education. And as Mandy indicated, we help existing businesses infusing living oils into their own so that they're not taking away their identity by this new product line, but instead creating a, a custom offering for their clients that are a little more discerning. Clients today, no matter how you put it, are more discerning. Whether they want to make sure that property has been properly sanitized or at least sanitized in a way that's not going to be harmful for their children or their pets, that is becoming more of, a, more of an issue. So that's what I want to address and talk to you about today. When we had the luxury to be able to say, what products do we want to put in our, our Airbnb? We were already with this company for six, seven years. So the question you know, is obvious, which products? Now we, I, I did a little bit of a display behind me just to show you real quickly, if you want Mandy, um, I'm gonna, it looks like so many and realistically you could do everything with just one product. And that's the product I think that transformed um, my personal life and then helped allow me to do so with the families of others. Um, the education that we could do about this product alone could be a call on its own, as you know, um, but we're just talking about the general household cleaner. Now with this one product alone, I could just introduce this in to use for not only my guests stay so that, it, that their experience is one where they're experiencing this product at a very high dilution, by the way, at one to 30. So I do offer that in a spray bottle, which is here. So they're actually getting a very high dilution. And then with that, I'm educating them really, really lightly on just, you know, feel free to clean your surfaces, et cetera. And it's safe for children. It's safe if you're pregnant, it's safe around pets. That's really huge because can you say that about oh, fantastic or Mr. Clean? Can you hand those two children and ask them to clean their own bathtubs? No. 
Well, so I like, like to make a lot of fun about that, that you can even encourage your children to do the cleaning. Um, we often tell other uh, Airbnb guests just to put the information into their check-in book. Their booklet indicates where things can be found, um, how things are done around here, whether or not you can drink the water, right? Whether or not you should be putting toilet paper into the septic system. And right in there, we indicate that we would prefer that they use the provided these products. And the reason is because we are stewards of our lake and we want to, of course, not uh, damage the, the life of the lake, the life cycle. Um, so education is key. And trust me, people just can't resist. When they use the products, they ask the questions. I'm often getting texts from guests while they're here. What is that amazing smell? In fact, I left the bottle looking very similar to this and it was an insect repellent. We just used our brand of, yeah, our brand of uh, essential oils in water, which are known to be a great insect repellent, provided it to them. They asked, what's your secret? What's your secret? Now, what we do do, which is really sort of convenient, is we offer a first aid style tray of essential oils, if you will. They're not all full because we know guests may pocket them and take off, you know, and we lose them. So we don't always put brand new unopened oils. We'll put uh, bottles with possibly one to two mils of each oil for them to sample the common popular oils. And these are actually coincidentally oils that come in something that's called a basic starter kit. And if they're interested in what I've left for them in their, in their, in their suite, uh, I can tell them very conveniently that it can be purchased at a, at a reasonable rate and a really nice wholesale discount. So leaving the first aid oil kits as well as a, a cleaning caddy with, uh, I, we use microfiber cloths. So we're not even um, doing so much waste of paper towel. We're using microfiber cloths, which work beautifully with the thieves cleaner, which provide antibacterial, uh, antiviral protection and cleaning power, which is uh, unmatched. And do your own research, by the way, we're not here to convince you the power of these, but really, if you want to do the research, um, we offer laundry detergent. Um, that's an opportunity. We actually dilute our, our, a lot of our key products because they're considered key and high co concentrates. So I dilute the laundry detergent and dishwashing liquid um, into three, what, thirds. So we get three from one bottle, making it really super convenient. We even let our guests know we are doing this. We call them hacks. Uh, they're fun DIY hacks that make our products even more economical, if you will. If you want to seasonally, um, I love to talk to guests and keep in touch with, with my hosts um, and offer things like seasonal um, boost to these. So say, for example, this holiday season, we offer uh, a boost of something like cinnamon and orange or a blend called Christmas spirit right into the spray bottles, just so that when they're being used, it's sort of, you know, just it's, it just beats a Yankee candle any day. Um, and people do ask what was in your clean. So do remember what you do boost your cleaners with, if it is lemon or lemongrass or different times of year. Um, we have the opportunity, we ourselves as well offer diluted shampoo. Um, I actually don't typically dilute it, but can, um, especially the children's shampoo, we like to do that. We are on a lake and during the summer, we had visions that people would be doing a lot of bathing. So we offer, um, and, and, and sunnings, so we offer also our young living mineral line of sunscreen so we just keep layering in i know it sounds like a lot and it can turn into a bit of a mouthful but we love it that way and so do our guests so we've layered in tons of products as you can see here from hand soap to toothpaste to children's uh shampoo body wash uh, like i mentioned the sunscreen as well as insect repellent so we brought the entire line into our space um, and to tell you the truth, our tenants loved it so much. Our last tenant actually requested to become a full-time long-term tenant. So he's now living with us full-time, as you know, as Mandy knows, um, our, our tenants. Um, and for us during this time actually worked out great, but it was the, the love of oils that, that brought him here and kept him. Anyway, Mandy, sorry to go on and on. No, that's wonderful. Um... I love your little setup and I love hearing about all the different products that you can bring in because you're right, you can just start with the Thieves Cleaner and um, you know, what, when we were traveling, we actually squirted, since it is a concentrate, we squirted um, it into a travel size 100 milliliter because last year we actually went um, carry on only and no luggage. So we only had hundred milliliters available. And so I had that um, squirted into a hundred milliliters. And then I went ahead and bought a Perrier bottle at a grocery yeah. store while we were there. And then I brought a nozzle, of course. Um, and then I just diluted it that way. And then I was good for the entire six months we were gone. Um, but yeah, just starting with as simple as um, the Thieves cleaner and, um, and then going from there with all the different products that we can, that we can add. So it's pretty cool. 
Um, do, you, do you mind me showing what I do? Because you mentioned that little bottle. I love that idea of, of offering that or traveling with this squeeze ball. I do a couple sometimes and when traveling, we'll leave one with usually a person if I'm staying with them. Often I am found guilty of cleaning my space whenever I stay with people. I just, look, I'm bold about it. And I tell people I prefer my cleaners. I have to take um, extra care because I am sensitive to chemicals, et cetera. So I, I don't make any, any issue of me clean, pre-cleaning my space. And so sometimes I love to share, but Young Living um, offers these, I don't call them travel size, but they're really a sample size these cleaner and I love them it's uh 30 mils you would dilute this into a bottle very much like this um so I do I leave a, a, a going away pack with that um so that makes it really economical but if you want to save even more money of course you can make your own breaking down your own bottle which is 30 30 bottles of these we can make with that right yeah yeah and the other one the other thing too is a big hit is linen spray because uh, we don't we do offer a seedlings one, great for babies, but for adults, um, we just use a beautiful glass bottle that comes from our land, laundry caddy, but you can use any bottle, but you can use your own DIY recipe and provide linen sprays. And you can do different ones for different rooms. If you have um, a theme again, if it's like, say for example, a romantic getaway versus uh, you know an overnight stay with um, essential workers, you would offer very different uh, offerings to your guests. And play that with your different ones. That's awesome. Um, so I guess I will put the offer on the table. Um, so what we're wanting to do is just kind of give you an opportunity for the, that low time, January, February, March, coming up right now, um, to kind of revamp the Airbnb listing that you may have or the rental listing that you may have, um, and then give you the time to get these products into your hands and into your home and um, get using them as well. Um, but you can advertise creative ways, you know, to market your space, like rest and heal and restore at this mountainside retreat where I'm at right now, rather than just enjoy the views, um, mm -hmm. actually, you know, be there holistically and healthily. Um, all natural, aromic, er, aromatic scents, um, just kind of things like that. And we can kind of help transform the space into a little bit of a retreat, um, as well as with the diffuser and diffusing thieves and the scent and cleansing the air and immune boosting ourselves as well. Um, just lovely things that affect your mood and affect um, how you feel right when you're entering into the room and for your entire duration of the stay, which is wonderful. Um, I think, I've expressed, you know, from my perspective and um, from potential um, renters that are coming forward and we've expressed from um, Azure's perspective as also having an Airbnb and offering it that way too. Um, we definitely want to make sure that we um, share with you that that is the potential, right? So um, what we're offering you is that we're available to coach you anytime and support you all the way through this business model if you decide to incorporate this and these products into your Airbnb. Um, so for one, you can just use them because it's gonna be wonderful to use them. But for two, there is that beautiful side income opportunity that if your tenants end up um, falling in love with the products that you're offering and seeing that as well, then they're gonna to wanna to buy that from you and then it can just trickle down so naturally naturally and wonderfully from there to have that um, bonus side income as well. So there's tons that we can talk about. We'd love to talk to you further about it. If you want to stay on the call afterwards um, and chat about anything else, please do. Um, and then reach out anytime and we'll answer questions and explain how to get this into your hands as well. Awesome, Mindy. Um, I want to add, and I don't know if you wanted to cut off the call or stop recording, but I want to add the people who do Airbnb are very special, unique people. They're not usually doing it just for the business model to make money. Um, I found, I have found oftentimes there's a piece in it. They do love genuinely hosting, whether or not they live on or not off the, off the property, they really love hosting. And they really, really do enjoy that connection that they make. Uh, I'm in an uh, Airbnb host community with 33,000 members on Facebook where I, we're there, we vent, we talk about questions and issues. And I promise you, I'm surprised how many people write, what can I write off? Number one, that's amazing that people are running these businesses, not realizing um, what they can write off. And that's one thing I love to talk about is how I've written off every single thing I do in, in relation to this business. 
Um, I get to brush my own teeth with products that I'm writing off because I run uh, Airbnb. Um, so there's those, those benefits, but really uh, going back to the actual social creature that runs the, the Airbnb, they do like the relationship that leads up to the booking. There's often a lot of correspondence that goes on during and then following. We also do, as an Airbnb host, want to have recurring bookings and then also really, really want uh, referrals. The reality is someone may want to use your uh, space for you know, a bachelor party. They may just refer it on. Um, they may not have a real reason to return. But what I've noticed and what Mandy is bringing up, which is the big, biggest and I think the best part about me marrying my business vision with these products is that that whether or not I establish that relationship, that introduction of products does have a rebound and long lasting effect. I call it planting seeds. This is a plant business. Um, all I do is leave a product guide in the unit. I hope they steal it, believe it or not. I think I even tell them it's you're welcome to keep it. Um, uh, sometimes people don't, and I know they do feel like I'm, I'm stealing, uh, but I do put on it my member number so that if they do leave and after the fact decide, hey, you know what, uh, that lady, I could smell the lavender in the air, even though I didn't give them much thought, uh, I'm going to get, I'm, I need some now and I remember her. So that's actually what happened to me. Someone gave me this thing 10 years ago and it took me 10 years, 10 years prior before I actually placed my order for my first bottle of lavender. So I really see it as planting a seed, creating a good experience that lasts a lifetime. And as you know, we are imprinting on the individuals with scent. Um, so everything kind of comes through. I, I really enjoy the relationships uh, I've made through this journey, not only with my tenants, but also the Airbnb guests um, next door that, that stay. And that's, that's just something I, I started my business off by getting, renting a space outside of a yoga studio for this exact reason. I thought yogis would like these oils. When they walked by, they did, they said, what is that great smell? And that's how my business just blossomed. So my next level was to take it to this level. I wanted people that were looking for high end experiences. Um, re the staycation, really, I was looking to create the most beautiful staycation. Um, it was what I needed myself for that healing benefit. So that's why I think um, what Mandy, I think honestly what you're onto right now is brilliant. I think it would be wise if you did hold these regularly because as a community of your, your traveling, uh, not only guests and hosts alike, um, they will benefit from hearing about people's experiences and different questions about how you offer these things without coming across salesy or being full, full blown out. Like where do you sign up? How do I order mine? Um, you can basically make your own choice how you want to do that with your business, right? So um, thanks so much. And I really appreciate you getting us together to do this, Mandy. Thank you so much, Azra. I love hearing from you. And I love um, all the creative things that you do with all the, the oils and also all the business side of it. So I learned so much from you every time that we talk. Thank you.